What's up shooters? It's the off season now and you're sitting around wondering what should you be doing? What should you put your time into to become a better player? Well, get off the video games. Stop sitting around watching Netflix and eating Doritos all day. I'm going to tell you what exactly you should be doing to work on your game so that when the high school season, college season comes around, you're a better player. You're going to beat out the competition. You're going to have a great season. So stay tuned. Let's jump into it. Okay, I'm breaking this video down into three sections. Offensively, defensively, and then extra intangibles. So first, let's talk about offensively. First thing I'm going to tell you, go ask your coach. Ask your coach specifically, coach, what do I need to do to get better? What do I need to do to get more playing time? You might think you need to become a better shooter, but your coach says, I need you to just become a better decision maker. I just need you to become a better ball handler. So that's the first thing. Know what exactly your coach wants. Usually you'll be on the same page, but you might be surprised if there's some differences. Now let's move on. Let's talk about what you can be working on specifically. Double down on your strengths. So if you're a good shooter, become a great shooter. If you're a good ball handler, become a great ball handler. Whatever stage you're at right now, whatever the strengths are, those are the things that have gotten you to where you're at right now. So I encourage you to double down on those things and become great at them. Next, we want to improve on our weaknesses. So it goes back to really analyzing your game. Is it ball handling? Are you a bigger player and you need to work on post moves and finishing around the rim? Is it your layup package where you need to get craftier with a variety of finishes and analyze what you need to focus on in order to become a better player? Figure out what position you are and most likely are going to be as you continue to grow and get older and play at higher levels and really focus in on the skills necessary based on the position that you are going to be playing. If you are a guard, you need to spend less time working on your post moves and more time working on your ball handling and shooting. That's going to be very important to putting your overall workout plan together and putting greater emphasis on the skills necessary to become a great player at that position. Hang on, before we move on, I wanna remind you guys about the launch of the individual personal training Facebook group. I'm super excited about it. The first 25 people to join are completely free. There's a ton of great content on there. I'm gonna be uploading new stuff all the time. Here's what you get by joining the group. I've got a 100 page document of tons of shooting drills that you can apply to yourself right away. I will be doing individual critiques and analysis of your shot specifically. You will be able to upload your videos and I will give you my breakdown and my feedback for you to become a better shooter. Next, we will have a weekly question and answer section. Every single week, I will go live on there and you can come on there and you can ask any questions about shooting, skill development, the college recruiting process, anything basketball related. I'll be on there to answer your questions. It's going to be an incredible group. I'm super excited about it. Hit the link below to join. Next, let's talk defensively. How can you become better defensively during the offseason? Sure, you can do some wall sits. You can work on slides. But let's be honest, you probably aren't going to work a ton on skill development defensively by yourself. Here's what you can do, though, especially if you have film from the previous year or maybe from AAU games, is really watch yourself. Watch yourself on film and evaluate yourself. Here are some key things that you can be doing when watching yourself on film from a defensive standpoint. First, are you in a defensive stance? If you're standing up all the time and you're walking around and you're not in a stance, it's not good. You need to be down low in a defensive stance, ready to go. Next, when you are off the ball, are you seeing both man and ball? I want you to get to the point where you're able to look straight ahead and then out of the corners of your eye, point at the ball, point at your man, and be able to see both. If at any point you can't see both, take a step back. That's going to create a greater range of motion for your overall vision. If you can't see both, you're too up the line, you're too close to one of them, and you don't have a good range. Next, the third thing, I want you to look at your overall intensity in the games. When there's an opportunity for a loose ball, are you diving on it? When there's an opportunity to sprint one way or the other defensively, 
Are you hustling? Evaluate those things. Are you in a stance? Are you seeing man and ball? And is your intensity where it needs to be? Next, you might not always be able to hear these things, but you can definitely try to remember, are you talking enough in the game? You should always be thinking about talking to the man that's guarding the ball. By yourself, right. I'm swinging. I'm swinging. Screen left. Screen right. When you're guarding a down screen, talking to him. Get through the screen. Hey, trail the screen. When you're in help side, two, three passes away. Hey, I'm help side. I'm the low man. I got your help left. I got your help right. So those are four ways that you can analyze yourself defensively to make sure that you're becoming a better defender. Okay, now let's talk about some extra intangibles. These might be the most important things in your off season. Number one, strength training. You need to be lifting weights, in my opinion, six days a week. Push, pull legs, push, pull legs, and then you can have an off day. Your push days, I want you to consist of bench press, shoulder press, dips. Okay, you're working your chest muscles, your shoulders, and your triceps. Your pull days are going to be pull-ups, pull-downs on a machine. It's going to be a lot of back exercises. And then your biceps. Think about all the different curl exercises that you can be doing. You can do hammer curls, regular curls, side curls. Okay, Get on a machine, have your arms back, and do curls from behind your body targeting different parts of your biceps. That's going to be your push and pull days. Then when it comes to your legs... You can do a few strength exercises with weights, such as squats, I think are good, some leg extensions, leg curls, and calf raises. But the majority of your leg days, I want you to work on plyometric exercises. You want to have explosive, fast twitch fibers in your legs so that you can explode off the ground and become more athletic and jump higher. If you have some big tree trunk legs, you might not be able to move out there very effectively. Focus your leg days on plyometric exercises so you can become more explosive and jump faster, quicker, higher, and move around the floor laterally a lot faster. Next, let's talk about your diet. Stop going out all the time. Stop drinking alcohol. Stop doing drugs. Stop poisoning your body. Or else when you start playing in those games, your conditioning level is going to go down. You're not going to be able to play as many minutes. And when you are in the game, because you're tired, you're not going to play as well. You're going to miss shots. Your whole game's going to be not as good as it should be. So you need to be eating properly and putting positive energy into your body. Focus on getting a ton of protein every single day to help your body grow. And when you're lifting on a regular basis, protein is what is necessary to build your muscles. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is your overall sleep. You need to be trying to get seven to nine hours of sleep. This will do several things for you. You're going to be able to then have better recovery of your muscles because they need time to rest. Next, if you're not sleeping a lot, you're going to be tired throughout the day. It's going to deter you from working out, from getting shots up, and it's going to stop you from becoming the best player that you can become. So to summarize it all up, what you need to be doing this offseason offensively pay attention to what your strengths are focus on those things double down on them look at your weaknesses work to improve those pay attention to what your most likely position is going to be and focus on what skills are necessary to become great at that position defensively watch a ton of film of yourself evaluate those things like we've talked about and then lastly focus on the extra intangibles those things can be the difference between you making the team not making the team being a role player, or being an all-conference, college-level player. If you've learned anything in this video, hit the subscribe button down below. I post videos every single week about basketball shooting, basketball training, your overall mentality. My goal on this channel is to help you to become the best player that you can become. I'll see you on the next video.